Hi, my name is Jessica Jarvis, and I am an assistant professor in the Department of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation at the University of Pittsburgh. I am honored to announce that the Foundation for PMNR has awarded my team and I the Gabriella Molnar Pediatric PMNR Research Grant for our proposal titled Equity and Rehabilitation Therapy Use During Pediatric Critical Care Among Children with Traumatic Brain Injury. In the United States, minoritized children are more likely to experience poor health outcomes in children who are white. There are multiple factors that play a role in these disparities, including unfair allocation of healthcare resources. This project will assess for racial and ethnic equity in rehabilitation therapy use during pediatric critical care among children with traumatic brain injuries in the 50 plus children's hospitals across the United States that are participating in the Pediatric Health Information System database. We will explore rehabilitation therapy use in several ways. As a dichotomous yes, no for receipt of physical therapy, occupational therapy, and or speech therapy, as time and days from PICU admission to their first therapy session, the number of types of therapies received, and the total number of sessions received. Relevant covariates at the child level, such as illness severity and brain injury mechanism, and covariates at the system level, such as each hospital's case mix index, will be controlled for in multi-level mixed effects models. We anticipate that the results of this research will yield the following critical endpoints for pediatric rehabilitation. First, Results will provide a summary of the current rehabilitation therapy practices among critically ill children with traumatic brain injury. There's growing recognition of the importance of early mobilization and acute rehabilitation therapies within the, the pediatric intensive care unit. However, there's limited data on current practices across the United States. We must identify and examine current rehabilitation therapy use to guide clinical practice, to inform future intervention development, and to form evidence-based guidelines for rehabilitation with this vulnerable population. And second, results will provide preliminary data on the racial and ethnic equity or inequity in pediatric rehabilitation therapies during pediatric critical care. It is vital that the field of rehabilitation intentionally examine for racial and ethnic inequities to assure equitable care for all children and their families, and we thank the Foundation for the opportunity to do this work.